Welcome to the support videos for workload automation video series. This video will demonstrate how to use the DEFCAL utility to import the calendars into the Control-M Enterprise Manager database. Let's take a look at our Control-M Enterprise Manager environment. Here we have a few calendars. Now, how many times have you come across yourself working in both non-production and production environments at the same time? And what if you accidentally deleted an important calendar from the production environment, say the HR payroll calendar? How would you quickly recover? Let me show you how. Here's my calendars and say here I accidentally deleted the HR uh, payroll calendar. Okay, instead of restoring the complete Enterprise Manager server database, which may take some time and requires a change request, I know my Control M administrator has set up daily jobs to export the calendar definitions. Control M support has created a video series called How to Export Calendars from Control M using the command line. To resolve this problem, I can use the DefCal utility along with creating a simple XML source file. I'm using a Linux Enterprise Manager environment and logged in as the EM user account. I've already navigated to a directory where calendar definitions are exported to. Here's a sample of the source XML file called hr underscore cal.xml. Okay, I've already created it to help restore only one calendar. I'm getting the values needed based on the exported uh, calendar definitions backup file called cal underscore back dot out. And here's a sample of that file. Before I continue, let me briefly show you how I made an export of all calendars, then created uh, the file to import only one specific calendar. I created a simple argument file for the utility emdef export def cal. Okay, then I ran the emdef export def cal utility, which is this example here. As you can see, five calendars were exported. Okay, so I'm going to copy and paste for the HR payroll. I'm going to start from this section, calendar, copy, and I would paste into creating a new import XML file based on the DEFCAL parameters. So in this instance, I would have created a new HR underscore cal dot XML file and input those parameters. Now, you can import two or more calendars if needed. I recommend to review our Control M utility guide to review the utility and its parameters. I cleared up some screen space to continue our work. The command I'm going to run is emdef space defcal dash pf and the full path this is the password file this full path here dash s with the name this is the name of the GUI server and dash src for the source of the uh, xml file now for windows os you don't need the em def prefix the purpose is to import one calendar definition back into Control M Enterprise Manager database. Remember, Control M support has a video called How to Export Calendars from Control M using the command line. You can implement these utilities, export DEFCAL and DEFCAL as backup and restore strategies in your Control M environments. Okay, so now we're going to run the command. 
and as we see the command completed successfully, the calendar HR underscore payroll is valid and one calendar has been written to the control M or enterprise manager database. We're going to go switch back to the enterprise manager client environment. Now we're back into the EM enterprise manager client and we need to perform a refresh. We have here the HR payroll. Uh, notice the synchronization state. Sometimes you'll see where it says not synchronize. In our instance, it is showing synchronize. But if it's not showing synchronize, what you want to do is go to upload here under sync and simply press to uh, upload that uh, to have it synchronize. But in our instance, we didn't need to do that. That concludes this Control M solution video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you.